Hi everyone, I am Abhishek Fadi and welcome to Key to Blogging. And in this video, I will show you how you can create web stories for your blogger website. So this is the website of Google for web stories, and here you can see a lot of different web stories examples here. And as you can see, they have also embedded some web stories like this. So let me just open one of the web stories from here. As you can see, it will show like this. So user can easily scroll down multiple slides. So web stories generally so in the vertical format and where you can add images and add videos or add text here. You can also add links to the web storage. So let me just close this and let me just show you. So I have just built a web storage like this and as you can see you can easily add web storage to your blogger website like this. So as you can see it will show animation and when I embed it in the web storage in the blogger so let me just scroll down and as you can see the web storage is added like this and as you can see you can easily switch between pages by clicking on this button and when i click on the image and it will show a learn more links like this so in this way you can customize your web stories and add it to your blogger website so let's start the video so first of all you need to create a account in make stories.io website so this website allow us to create web storage and add it to our blogger website so if you are using wordpress then google made a dedicated plugin for wordpress so it is called web storage for wordpress so you can easily use this plugin to create your web storage in wordpress but as you know there is no plugin support in blogger so we need to create a web storage using this website make stories.io so first of all we are going to sign up for free so let's click on here now it will ask you to sign up with your google account so let me just quickly do that okay after that you will see a screen like this so let me just click on personal workspace here now it will show a dashboard like this so first of all we need to go to the setting first general settings and here you can add your author name so let me just add my author name here and you can also add your publisher name so in the in that case you can add your website name here and here you can select the author type so i will select as a person so if you are running a organization then you can select organization here so let me just save the changes now let's click on branding here and you can also add a brand name and here you can select industry so let me just select content marketing and here you can upload your logo of your website and you can also upload your favicon here so let me just upload a demo here so as you can see this is how the media library of web storage looks like so here you can click on add new media and here you can upload that file so let me just randomly select any logo from here now once the logo is uploaded just select the upload and click on add logo so in the same way you can add favicon so just add it so in that case i am using a demo images here so let's click on save changes and here i can add the brand name like my website name here and let's change save changes now let's click on typography and here you can select the font name so if you have any brand font then you can select the font name from here so let me just select avzee -E. and i can also change the font name here so in this way you can assign a brand font to your web stories now let's click on analytics and here you can add your google analytics tracking code so that it will track the web stories views properly now let's click on social media and here you can add twitter app id twitter site and here you can add twitter creators so i will add my twitter link here so what i can do is i will add the twitter and as you can see i have added the twitter link here so let me just save changes now let's click on advertising setup so if you want to monetize your web storage then you can do that by just clicking on google adsense here and here you have to enter your publisher id and here you need to add your slot id so you can get that by creating a display ad unit and here you will get the publisher id and add slot code so just enter it and save changes now let's click on domain setting so 
you need to create your own domain using this website so let's click on add domain here now i will click on create now button and i can add the domain so let's say i will add the domain like this you can add your website name here so let's click on proceed okay now it will show a message like domain added successfully so let's go to the general setting again and we have added all the settings like branding typography analytics setup social media so all these setting will be help when we publish that web stories so let's click on profile here and here we can add email address name and this is basically the account setup so now let's go to the option create new stories so just click on here and it will ask you to enter the story name so let me just add the story name like seo and here you can select tags from here or you can you can click on add new and enter your tag and just click on add so let me just add the seo as a tag and let's click on continue now here you will see this option background tab here you will see option like template text image and here you will see this option elements and here you can also animate the slides so let's start with the background tab and here you will get a lot of options like here you can select different backgrounds to your slide and here you can also use gradient background like this and here you can also use texture background like this and here you can also use a custom image as a background so either you can search image in onsplash.com or you can also use the media library and here you can upload your own media from your computer so let's go back to the editor and you can also use videos from pixels as a background and here you can also gifs overlays or some animated gradient like this so in this case we are going to use a plain color like this now let's go to the templates here and here you will get a lot of templates so that you can just import that template and just edit the image text like this so let me just select any of the templates from here so let's select this template now let me just select one of the templates from here so let me just select this one and i can just change the text from here and i can change the background image change the overlays like this so let's select a plain background here so let's select this one and let me just change the image so what i can do is just press delete button and i will upload a image from here so just click on add media button here and let's upload a seo image so let's click on upload file and let me just select a seo image from my computer now let's select that image and click on add media to the slides now here you can adjust the image in the slides and here you can resize the image like this and you can also crop the image by using this button so let's fix this and make it as align center now here you can drag this headings like this and let's change the heading like what is seo and here you can select this text option and here you can align it to center and you can also increase the font size a little bit and here you can change bold light regular semi bold like this and here you can change the font style like this and here you can change letter spacing letter height stroke size like this and here you can select this option on click and let's click on open link and here you can add a url so whenever someone click on the title it will redirect to a link so it will show a link and whenever someone click on that link it will redirect to that page so let's add a page from here so suppose i want to add the link of this page so let's copy the link and let's go to the editor and i will add that url by default it is take the icon you can also use your custom icon in that button and you can also use the filters like normal cali grayscale so here you can choose 
different filters or you can also custom change the brightness change the contrast change the saturation like that so let's select this text here and let me just add a definition of seo so let me just copy all the text from my notepad file and let me just change the text here now i can adjust the position of the text like this now and then i will click on the text here and let's increase the text size a little bit and here i can adjust the size of the text okay now you can play around this settings and add different effect to the text okay now we have created our first slide now let's click on new slide so let's close this one and i will click on add page after so just click on here now let me just add an another slide from this like this and here you can change the image so let me just delete this image first and let's upload a new image from my computer now let's select this one now let's select this image and add media to this slide now let's adjust the position let's increase the size a little bit and you can also add a call to action button by clicking on this button add cta button so just click on here and just click on this button and here you can add a link so let me just add a link like this now let's adjust the text position adjust the description like this so in this way you can create multiple slides so just click on add page after and here you can add page like this so add, let's add some demo page here and you can also add different shapes and size like if you want to add a circle then just select the circle here and as you can see we have created a circle in the slide and here you can change the color of the circle like this so in this way you can add different elements and here you can add text here and you can also use element tab here and here you can add arrow like this or you can also add different shapes from here like this so let me just delete this one and delete this one so i hope you have understand how to edit the slides so let's publish this slide so for this you need to click on the publish button and click on publish as a web stories now you can set the seo title so let me just add a title like what is seo and here you can select the story language and as you can see we have set the publisher details in this setting so it will auto fill here now let's click on setup poster so just click on poster here and let me just select a poster image and let's adjust poster image here now it will select the position for poster so let's increase the size a little bit and adjust the poster section let's click on landscape here and let's adjust the landscape position now let's click on square here and let's adjust the position like this now let's click on save poster now let's click on close here and as you can see it has created different type of poster like this now let's click on save and proceed now it will show to add different schema so if you are using a blog post then you can select the article schema or if you are using a job posting website then you can select the job posting schema here so let me just select the article schema here and you can also add short description so let me just add a short description here so make sure to write at least 300 to 400 words like this so for better seo so here you can also add a social media image so let me just select this one as a social media image so whenever someone share this stories then it will show a social media media image like this and here you can see the author type 
author name publisher name and here you can set the publish date and here you can set the upload date here update date here and here you can also add author twitter handle and you can also see this option organization twitter handle so let me just cut this one and i will set it as author twitter handle all these settings are done so let, it is asking to add a publisher logo so let me just select this as my logo okay now let's click on story validation and it is showing that following page have more text content so you can check the pre-published check or you can skip this so let me just keep this settings here now it will ask you to select the website so you have created the website before so let's click on the website and let's click on proceed now it will ask you to add this log so i will leave it is like what is seo so let's publish this so it will publish the web storage and create a link for you so let's wait now the web storage is published so here you can copy the embedded code here and let's view the story fast and as you can see the web storage will looks like this and here you can see different slides like this and as you can see we have added a call to action button like this so this is how the web storage looks like so you can directly share the web storage link from here or you can just copy the embedded code from here and let's go to the blogger dashboard and let's open that blog post seo search engine optimizations now i want to embed that web storage in our blogger website so for this i will switch to the html view and i will paste that code now let's update this blog post now let's go back and let's view the blog post in the front end and as you can see the web storage is added to our blogger website so in this way you can add web storage to your blogger website use easily using the makestorage.io website so if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe key to blogging and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.